Hey folks, uh, welcome back to the Be to Bright podcast presented by Ridge Supply. My name is Matt Hawkins. I'm the owner of Ridge Supply. I'm here with Jordan Spoon, who's the man behind our Instagram uh, Ridge Supply Arsenal um, Ambassador Group. And we're here in episode 12 with Mr. Ryan Charles. Ryan is out of um, Homa, Louisiana. He's here live with us on Zoom. We're recording this on YouTube and also on all pod podcast uh, formats. Ryan, we're back. Um, Jordan's got, got some questions for you, and um, we're going to try to cover some of the uh, – in this episode, we're going to try, try to cover some of the ridge supply and the early days of Arsenal and get, get your take on that. So, Jordan, take it away. Awesome. Ryan, glad to have you. Um, I know you and I have talked quite a few times through messages, but this is the first time I guess we've virtually met, but still face-to-face. -face. Right. So I did have a few questions, uh, kind of just more related to Rich Supply and Arsenal specific. So this will be, uh, be kind of your background with how you found Rich Supply. So my first one is, how did you find Rich Supply? You're not here in North Carolina. You know, I'm just a few hours from Matt, but you're, you're quite a ways away. So it's you know, give me the backstory on finding Rich Supply and how that went down. All right. So it kind of uh, kind of correlates to everything that's going on, especially right now with the uh, with our hashtag Be the Bright. Uh, that's kind of where it started. Uh, just to to go all the way back, I um, I was looking for a bike. We'll 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 start there. I was looking for a bike, and um, everyone that knows me knows I, I like bright colors. I want to be visible. I want to be seen, and all that good stuff. So course I bought the Lambo first and foremost the orange bike and um, and I just was looking around trying to find different different clothes and different matchy match outfits and things to go with my kit and I was it had to be on Instagram and I just happened to just be be going through just looking and I saw I'm like oh hey wait those are those are different that's that looks pretty cool let me order a couple pair so that's pretty much where I started I ordered a couple pair and Man, of course, the the, the outpour of, of people, hey, I like those socks, those socks. That's red supply, you know, and I'm like, yeah, everybody knows that brand. That's cool. That's cool. That's pretty much where it started out, where I, where I found the, the brand is on Instagram. That's crazy. Uh, and it's funny. We were talking about this the other day. It's just, that's how I found it. Scrolling through Instagram one day, and I'm like, hey, those are cool socks. And I, I think a lot of people share that story, but you know, you were so early on to find it that way, I think is, is even cooler. Right. Uh, All right. So, so just, this is how I roll. Um, <laughs> Ryan Charles, uh, November 27th, 2015. Okay. So first of all, we also know he came in on the discount. You know what I mean? He came in for that, for that, uh, for that holiday sale. That's what that was. <laughs> he got, <laughs> Which, hey, hey, no shame in that. I, I, I love it. Um, Skyline Orange Edition, Skyline Sunset, and he got the Ridgeline Sunset Wool, which is a super rare sock. Don't make it anymore. That was the one that was like dark charcoal, but then had different color Ridgelines oh, yeah, 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 that were, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, um, first order was November of 2015, which isn't that far after when you started riding, right? right? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. I wanted to be clean, man. I, I wanted to, to get my shine on. Now you mentioned, you mentioned the Lambo and, uh, and explain that because for, for, the, for, for, for those, those of us who don't have a nickname for their bike or don't, <laughs> don't equate it like you do, it is a big part of your, um, you put a lot of upgrades and, and time into that bike. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, very much. Explain it. Explain it. I know what a Lambo is, but maybe explain <laughs> how you, you know. So the Lambo, when I first started riding, of course, like I said, I had been riding a little, the little cheap bike and, and I didn't know how to ride. So I would always ride in the hard gear and I would be wondering why are these guys able to go so far and I was burning my legs. I was like, why can I never go the, these, yeah. these miles? That's the weightlifter so, in you right there. Right, 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 right. And then I was all big and whatever. So um, so once I, I started riding with some, some more cyclists and, and got acclimated and knowing how to ride a bike, I, uh, I bought a Trek, rode that a little while. And then I was like, you know what? I want something nice. These guys got nice bikes. Yeah. I want a nice bike. So I went to the local shop to purchase a bike. But it didn't work out. 
And my, my guy, he called me, said, hey, I got a bike for you. I guarantee it's your bike. It's this orange and black bike yeah. in Covington, which is like two and a half miles, two and a half hours away. So I'm like, man, I got to drive two and a half hours just to go look at a bike. I said, you know what? I'm going to go. I don't know about orange, but I'm going to go. Yeah. Since a child, I've always loved Lamborghini. Yeah. So went look at it. That was my first thought. It's Lamborghini orange. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, that's me. And and how that ties in with the with the whole leg thing is when I first started riding, the guys, they would sprint out and I would be right there with them. And of course I had a lot of power, so I was able to just zoom. Yeah. So the, my sprint, my sprint speed is was was I guess unheard of for a new cycle. Yeah. So uh so they started, yeah, man, you on that Lambo, man, going fast and you can accelerate. <laughs> so that's kind of how the whole Lambo thing took off and yeah. of course it's part of who I am now. That's cool. <laughs> I, I was I was actually gonna ask and the Lambo. I was curious. I was curious where that name came from. Yeah, that's that's, that's a that's pretty unique started. nickname. Yeah, and and you've you've done. Um, I mean, there's a lot to tell about that bike. From what I know, I mean, you took it to Brazil, right? Yeah, it's been and to Brazil. It, it's been to Mexico. It's been man. It's been pretty much everywhere I, I've gone. But then, then when when you came back from Brazil, it got broken. Yes. And didn't yes. I, I helped you get that fixed, didn't I? You sure did. You sure did. You but sure I mean, did. isn't that when you got it repainted? Yes. Yes. Because okay. yeah, yeah, it yeah. had to be repainted. So that's whenever I, I took the back end. I never touched the orange, but the whole back end was, uh, that's all custom paint. Has mm -hmm. Rich Supply ghost in the paint. Uh, the Arsenal ghost in the paint. It's, 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 I tell it's you all what. that, man. I'm Rich Supply until I die, man. <laughs> well, I, I, I appreciate that. People don't realize, too, if you break your bike, it's such a great opportunity to get it um, to get it repainted, you know, any way you want, because they have exactly. to do it anyway. And they right. and it's harder for them to do it exactly like it was than throw a new colorway or whatever in there. Right. Jordan, right. I derailed your questions, man. Get back in there. I, I, <laughs> hey, that, that was I'm one sorry, of my dude. questions. I wanted to know where the name came from. So that's perfect. So if anybody has followed Ryan for any given amount of time on social media, they know that he is one of the OG Arsenal members. There's no question about that. Uh, what was it like to get accepted to that first group of Arsenal? And what did that mean to you at that time, getting accepted? Well, I put in, I was like, okay, I'm going a, I'm to a reach out. And, and, and I saw the, uh, the request and the, the applications being, you know, submitted and I said you know what I'm gonna submit I know I'm not the the average looking cyclist and all of that stuff and uh but I said you know what I'm, I'm gonna give it a shot and when I got accepted man it was like it was like it was literally and, and people might think I'm lying but it was literally like I had won the lottery I, I felt because to be a part of something first and foremost especially with an organization and a brand to be uh able to represent someone else's brand that in itself was you know i, I felt a, a feeling of being thankful for matt saying hey look i don't know this guy i don't know anything about this guy but something about him i won't allow this guy to represent my brand this is my stuff so just that in itself was like wow man it was it was all and it was it was humbling you know just to just to know that somebody would uh feel that much to allow that and I, i'm sure he didn't know that our relationship would grow like it has, but uh, I didn't know what I was doing, man. I had no idea. I mean, that's obvious now. But yeah, know? I definitely, yeah, I definitely. Uh, it was definitely an awesome feeling, man. Just to just to be accepted, and I watch all the Arsenal members, especially you know every year, and watching people come in and, and they feel just like I felt, man. And I know that feeling. And dude, I I appreciate that so much. But I got to keep it real, like. It, when you came, when you came on, and I, when we do another uh, one of these, I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna find what you did right, by the way, for your application, because that'll be cool to like actually read that. But um, that first class, I mean, I had no idea what a what the impact was on individuals, because I wouldn't have known. We were right. so it was so young. But I didn't even know what it was going to be or what or what was going to happen. One of the, the best things about that is your like your um, passion for for 
for riding, for supporting the brand, for the socks, for the whatever, like it's you, you know what I mean? Right. So like, and you're one of 72 of those original people and everybody had their own um, thing. You know, there was no be the bright. There was no, like, we didn't know what to do. Heck we were figuring it out, you know, but I do say that, that it was amazing for me, especially early on in that first year to, to, to read those applications and be like, it was the first time, you know, cause uh, with social media, it's like you get a like, or you get a comment and that's all you get. That's the only feedback you get. And then you have, you have sales, but sales are kind of cold and you don't, you know what I mean? It's just somebody put an order in though. That feedback that I got on those applications, I was like, Whoa, okay. Like people are, people are feeling this, you know what I mean? In, in di different ways. And, and that was like, I, no joke. And I don't cry. I really don't for much of nothing, you know, but I was crying reading these applications. Cause I was like, dude, rich supplies, like mean something to people, you know? And, um, it was the first time that was only, you know, six or seven months in where I was like, Oh man, you know, like we're reaching, we're reaching folks, uh, in this weird way. And so like, it's, I know we're five years down the road, but, it, and you, you spent a lot of money, uh, with it, with this brand, you know what I mean? Like you have like, no joke, like you're a, because you're a collector and because you're somebody who like, when I had something new come out, you would buy it, you know? Um, and, and thank goodness for you, you've had a discount for a long time too, because <laughs> otherwise, you know, you might be broke, uh, but, uh, so, <laughs> but, um, that's why that Arsenal discount is good. It comes up, it comes it up, is. pays off. Jordan knows. Jordan's the oh, same yeah. way. Jordan, y'all yeah. got problems. I was going to say, Ryan and I are putting, putting your kids through school. Yeah, right. I know. this is actually a secret meeting. It's like an intervention, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, y'all got to slow it down. Stop buying so much. Um, no, anyway, go. I think we got time for one more, Jordan. You got, you got one more in there in the can? Uh, this one may be long. We'll save it. Okay. Right here, real quick, what does "Be the Bright" mean to you? Be the bright. Anything positive in all aspects. Try to be positive in in anything you do. That's that's first and foremost. Especially in the time that we are in right now, be the bright is definitely necessary and needed. No yeah. matter what you got going on, because I have man, we'll talk later about that. But I got some stuff going on, but I'm still smiling, man. It's 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 be the bright in all aspects. I don't know who came up with that. Matt, you came up with that hashtag? I did. I did. Yeah. You are definitely the man for that one. So that's, that was well, definitely needed right now. Yeah. And we've talked about this and some other stuff too. Like you can, anybody can come up with a hashtag, yep. but you have to actually kind of like um, flesh it out, live it out. And people have to like relate to it. Uh, and one of the neat things about that hashtag, I think, is that people put, you know, they, they put their own, um, perspective on it and then they they're either acting on it or not um and i think it's been really cool uh, you are this person too that has personified um the passion behind you know uh design um design elements and like functionality of whatever it is that's rich supply whether it's brightness whether it's you know um the shaking the dust of like getting out there and riding and uh, so just, you know, thank you to you, Ryan, for, for always being somebody that we can look to uh, with some flavor. We, we didn't even get into, you haven't even started doing voices yet. So um, <laughs> that, we, we hadn't talked about the poses yet. Yeah, we got, yeah, we got plenty to cover. Um, so this is the, this is going to wrap up episode 12 with us. We're here with Ryan Charles. Thank you so much, Ryan. Thank you, Jordan. Uh, if you need to subscribe down here uh, for uh, subscribe to the Red Supply YouTube channel or the next episodes over here. And we are going to wrap up episode 12 and we'll see you in episode 13.